Hey, this is Cheryl Art, and today I'm going to show you how I paint my curly and natural hair. First thing that you need to understand is the direction or the flow of the hair. Notice the guide from the reference. If you're noticing this piece that I have right here, you can sort of see that the hair is in like an S motion. That way you can begin to understand how the hair is naturally supposed to flow. I ran into some technical issues while recording the video, but we all good now. So what I'm doing now is just uh, getting my foundation right, it's creating the sketch. Because if you don't have a good foundation, the piece will not come out as good as you'd like it to. Uh, this is what I get from the reference. Always, always get your foundation right from the reference. That way you won't encounter any problems and you won't need to make adjustments here and there throughout the whole process, which is just going to be a huge waste of time. So make sure your foundation is lined out uh, properly and you'll be good to go. Okay, now we have a simple foundation of how we'd like the hair to look like. We're going to get into the rendering a bit later. So what we're going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to use this Manga Inca brush. By the way, if you guys would like to know what brushes I use, I have a brush pack which will be available. So we're going to create a new layer, lower the opacity. Um, so just let me use this Manga pressure. Uh, and when, what we're going to do is, we're just going to create those loose strands of hair, just to make it more uh, natural. The next thing I'm going to do now is to add all those highlights because this is what brings the hair to life. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select the, this is my hair lighting brush, but this is just a hatching line brush. So yeah, it's just a bunch of lines. What I'm going to do now is get the base colors, the base colors for the highlights. So. As you can see, the hair looks kind of dull, so we're going to create this span of highlights here so they can bring it to life. Very, very, very simple. Now what I'm going to use is these, this um, brush of mine to create these um, lines that pass through the hair because there's some strands that aren't visible to say. So it's like almost as if the hair is overlapping each other. So I'm just using this to create that effect. See that now it's starting to look more like hair. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add those highlights. I think you notice this a lot in my paintings. Um, a lot of people use this brush. It's, uh, I'd say it's a universal brush, but basically it's just a hatching line brush and it's to create like strands of hair. Now what I do is I take the eraser brush and I just raise into it to make it a bit more natural. Create another layer 
adding that highlight. This is what's going to make the hair pop. Then I just use it again in areas that are lacking probably. So basically I just do my own thing. There's some creative freedom in this. So if you understand the direction of the hair, you'll be able to do this efficiently. Now I'm just using the brush, this manga brush again. Yeah, make a, a small one just to add this bit of highlight over it, just to make it pop. One thing you'd notice when it comes to drawing curly hair is that sometimes some of the movements will either have a zigzag shape, um, circular shape, some are just naturally like that, it's like an S shape. Um, but yeah, um, we've managed to do one with more of an S shape, so let's attempt one with a circular shape. Now I'm going to use a darker color. Creating these ones are a bit harder to do because there's a lot of things you have to put under consideration. Uh, it takes a bit more time so Sometimes I try and avoid it as much as possible. Now I'm going to take the hashing, hatching uh, brush and just create those movements, those lines for the curls, uh, just to pop it out.
that's pretty much it this is your first time viewing me on youtube check out my instagram feel free to subscribe so you can get more content i will see you on the next one